About a year ago, an ABC7 investigation uncovered financial troubles at an international sorority based here in Washington. And tonight, Leslie Cook has a new development of the ongoing controversy surrounding Zeta Phi Beta sorority. Leslie? Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated has been helping raise money for charities for more than 80 years. Well, now the sorority member who thought she was helping her sisters by revealing secrets about alleged misuse of the organization's money has been kicked out. It's like being married to somebody for 17 years and then finding out they're having an affair. Natasha Stark did not want her face shown in this report that ABC7 aired in February 2006. She was the whistleblower, the one who outed Barbara Moore, the international president of her sorority, Zeta Phi Beta. Our I-Team investigation found Moore spent nearly $400,000 on what appear to be personal items, designer clothing, fine jewelry, fur coats, high-end home furniture, even lingerie, all charged to a sorority corporate credit card, an apparent violation of the IRS tax code prohibiting any individual from benefiting from connection to a nonprofit. $129 worth of pantyhose, Wilson's leather, designer sportswear, lady shoes, day wear, St. John, St. John, St. John. Our story resulted in a federal investigation into the sorority's financial transactions. One year later, Moore is still in charge, and the whistleblower, Natasha Stark, has just been expelled. This letter the sorority's board sent to Stark outlines the charges violating the duty of loyalty, unsisterly conduct, in part because she participated in our story. Zeta Phi Beta was founded at Howard University in 1920, and it was clear the undergraduate members today did not want to talk about the controversy. There's mixed feelings, but I don't really... I mean, I don't know what to say. But members of other sororities here had lots to say about it and questions about the alleged lavish spending on things like rental cars and hotels. Are they trying to cover it up? Are they trying to get rid of it? Are they trying to pretend it didn't happen? If you're trying to make your organization better, I don't believe that it's right to expel the person who's trying to make it better. I'm thinking about the history of black organizations like that and, and the principles that they're founded upon, sisterhood, scholarship, community service. And I, that's definitely not an example for, you know, younger African-American women in, in the community to be misusing funds like that. Zeta Phi Beta leaders have scheduled a hearing for Natasha Stark to appeal her expulsion. That will be tomorrow here in Washington, but Stark tells us she did not have the time to rearrange her life in Atlanta in order to get here in the three-week notice that she was given. Her supporters, who were afraid to talk to us on camera today, are planning on attending, however. Now, Zeta Phi Beta refused our request for an interview on the phone, but instead asked us to fax them questions in advance that we do not do. Leslie Cook, ABC7 News.